And when you come to know Jillian like we do, you're gonna quickly realize the title, America's Toughest Trainer, it only scratches the surface. Lunging forward and curl. Yeah, who's your daddy now? I'm incredibly excited to be on The Doctors because I'm hoping that I can be the voice of the audience. I have a no-nonsense, no BS policy and attitude that you're gonna be seeing every single day. I think I'm able to get through to people because I'm a screw up and I've had to learn the hard way, but now I feel like it's my turn to pay it forward. I grew up out here in California. My parents were divorced when I was 12. It was a really tough time. I had come to know that food was stable, it was something to look forward to. It was something I could control. And so I would get home from school and order a pizza and sit on the roof and eat it by myself. I went into a private school. I was new and I mean, I got brutalized. Throwing food at me, surrounding me, calling me names. At my heaviest, I was maybe 170. I was painfully aware that I was a heavy kid, but I didn't know that I could be anything else. Martial arts was important because it gave me two things. One, I stopped being bullied because I began to realize that I was strong. I started to lose weight. I had a sense of self-worth. If I was to look back on my childhood, one thing that sucked the most, being an only child, which is why I want to make sure to have two kids. Adoption is something that I know I have to do. It's my destiny. Anybody who makes up an excuse telling you that it's too late to change, it's exactly that, it's an excuse. I love what I do. Every single night when I go to bed and I put my head on that pillow and I think about what I did that day, it brings meaning into my life. There's nothing better than that.